He is one of the most iconic cricketers of our time. He has steered the team to victory in all three formats of the game and he brought the country the ultimate joy by bringing the World Cup trophy home after more than two decades. He's the current king of cricket and the undisputed king of brands. Para Kapoor tracks the journey of Brand Dhoni and how this brand is consciously, constantly reinventing itself. Yes, who is it? Dhoni, 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 Dhoni. Dhoni finishes off in style. A magnificent... Who would have thought that it would be in MS Dhoni's era that India would go on to rewrite history in cricket? And who would have thought that this boy would attract brands like Moth to a flame, making him one of the country's most admired brands, valued at over 300 crore rupees, with close to 30 brands in his kitty. I think brand Dhoni is, you know, totally unparalleled in the amount of success that he's had. I mean, first you need to put him in two different boxes. Uh, one is his own personality, which is outwardly flamboyant. If you remember his career when he started, he had, he was the first one to have the haircut, the long hair, then he cut it short and... And then you look at his capabilities to act. If you see his commercials, he's an actually a natural actor. He's the largest icon and I think the combination of him being a personality by himself and the credentials that he brings to the table with the success on ground, my God, lethal mix. And Dhoni is your typical rags to riches story. He hails from the small town of Ranchi in Jharkhand, certainly not a place known for its cricket infrastructure or heroes. But eight years into the game and Dhoni has spiraled to success, leaving every other Indian captain completely envious. In fact, compare Sachin's cricket career of 22 years to Dhoni's 8, and then compare Sachin's 17-odd brands to Dhoni's 27, and the numbers speak for themselves. Initially perceived as extravagantly flamboyant and recognized as a destructive batsman, Dhoni in more ways than one symbolizes the young India. No nonsense, action-oriented, bold decision maker, a true blue leader and something that Indian politics or sport has not seen in a long time. And this unique but heady concoction is what makes him the darling of marketers. According to a recent TAM sports report, commercials of brands endorsed by Dhoni grabbed 29% of the total TV ad buy during this year's ICC World Cup. Khan finished a distant second at only 10%, followed by Karina Kapoor's 8%, and Tendulkar and Ritik Roshan had 7% each. And these numbers are telling of what the future awaits. Gone are the days of undented runs of the Amitabh Bachchans and Shah Rukh Khans of the world, where the core value of the brand is an unknown quotient, and all that brands are betting on is his or her superstar status. While Dhoni is charging a fee of 6 crore rupees currently, his World Cup performance is only going to escalate that number, making him the second most expensive endorser, just a notch below Amir. The ad campaign for an LED TV set cost Sony 100 crore rupees, but the brand says it was worth its while. The company has sold more than 240,000 sets in the last three months, a jump of over 40% from earlier. And part of the reason that Dhoni is the quintessential pin-up boy for Indian advertisers is the fact that he is constantly reinventing himself. Be it his ever-changing hairstyle, or his flamboyant decisions on the field, or just his simplistic, unpretentious style. Dhoni, knowing or unknowingly, is always making a statement. You can see Saurav Ganguly, Sachin Tendulkar, Kapil Dev, uh, such big legends having a plan B. I didn't see it. All of these athletes' plan B was to play more cricket. Uh, I would have presumed that, you know, all these athletes do realize that post-33, 34, 35, you know, your, your physical abilities to perform on field do diminish. And at that time, you would have a plan B for your brand. You know, like taking an example from David Beckham and, you know, certain athletes globally. But I didn't see these legends having a plan B. But I think somewhere down the line, Dhoni does have a plan B. According to Riddhi Sports, the agency managing Dhoni's game plan, there most certainly is. In fact, they no longer plan to sign regular endorsements for the icon, but plan to work on larger agreements, which include partnerships with the brand and a bigger stake in the company. Brand Dhoni is now the first Indian to look at equity deals with the companies he endorses. This is a huge shift in the Indian endorsement scene, and the skipper, whose popularity in the market is at an all-time high after India's World Cup triumph, 
if timing has moved just right. Clearly, Dhoni's strategic planning is not just limited to on the field. Thanks for watching.